You're crazy till you're successful, but then you're a genius. People may think you're too obsessed. It will not work. You should quit. Be realistic. These are just a few sentences that successful people hear almost every day on their journey to success and the truth is people will think you're out of your mind but if you really want to be successful you cannot only act successful you must become successful so on today's thoughts we will speak about what successful people actually go through. Their journey to success can be one of the loneliest journeys that successful people will encounter. You will lose friends, family, you will be called out, you will be told that you're insane, you will be made fun of, you will be laughed at until you're successful because then everyone becomes your friend and while I'm not there yet I can tell you that on my journey to success while I am still evolving I am already experiencing these phrases slash thoughts and recently I was speaking to someone who is obviously way more successful than me and he told me this phrase that kind of stuck with me on your journey to success there cannot be any doubt because doubt creates chaos in one's own demise <laughs> and uh, truthfully we all are we all doubt ourselves it's just pretty much everyone will go through self-doubt every once in a while it's just part of you can say it's part of life and it's also part of the journey but once you start doubting yourself you need to say or you basically need to get back on on track and the reason what what will basically keep you on track is having a why why are you doing this it should not be well the why can be for the money and the fame but if the why is for the money and the fame, you really don't want it hard enough or there's no direct specific reason why you want it, there is a bigger chance of failing because on the first uphill, you will struggle and give up. Whereas if you are doing it to, for example, support your family in times of need, to buy your mom a house, to pay your mortgage, to support your wife, to, for many reasons, personal reasons, that starts a fire inside of you, which is quite difficult to burn out. And uh, revisiting back the first sentence, you're crazy till you're successful, but then you're called a genius. Don't we see this in almost every celebrity, in every successful person's journey? This is a very common thing actually, if you think about it. When you really want something, you will not stop. You are determined, you are fueled, you persist. And that is when people will call you crazy 
because those people that will call you crazy are the ones at home with no vision the ones that don't understand the fuel inside of you the fire inside of you so if you are called crazy on a journey that you are working on you must be on the right path and that is when for example for a runner that is training for a personal best record in a marathon he will be called crazy going out running at five in the morning four in the morning before a 12 hour shift you will be called crazy because people who will call you crazy do not understand the vision and how hard you really want that vision to become reality so again my saying is if you are being called crazy on something that you're working on then you must be doing something right so yeah and yeah people will think you're too obsessed this is just part of the passion i guess when you are passionate about something people will call you obsessed so and that's that's okay that's okay uh, you should accept that i mean everyone has an obsession on something so let that drive you forward towards your goal and fuel your passion so these were some of the thoughts that i wrote this week and uh, following on the same theme i was reading through a book and listening to a few podcasts this week and uh, the more and more i get on this journey the more and more i realize that i know nothing in this world that it's such a vast understanding of self education that it's it's crazy a sentence can open up a huge spiral of thoughts so if you want to be great you will be misunderstood few people will get your commitment and few people will support when you're at the edge where people do not like and understand you and question you you're at the right place that's where champions are born and this is following our previous thought that when you are called out for doing these crazy things you are most likely on the right track so if i were you and i would be called out doing something that you enjoy doing or you're following a passion or something like that i would be i would tap myself on the back because to be honest you are doing something right like <laughs> it's crazy like people used to always tell me because i'm crazy to go out running at five in the morning before a 12 hour shift and then after the 12 hour shift i come home and try to get two to three hours of work done on my personal thing but like i always smile when i tell them this because when you are truly passionate about something you can be tired you will be tired you will have days where you don't feel like doing anything but it's those days where you don't feel like doing anything and you still do it regardless it's those days that count and uh, nick bear has the saying that it's better to be cons- consistently good than occasionally great and uh, this saying actually is quite a good phrase because sometimes when we're speaking with for example friends you it's not the first time that you hear that friend oh last saturday i managed to get a workout in i go i went to the gym i got uh, six hours of deep work done and uh, i went out with family or whatever and it was such a productive day and then you ask him okay but like but you wasted six days before that 
so if you say you spend five six days procrastinating and then one day doing something great it's better to try and split those hours into small steps it's better to be constantly good than occasionally great because constantly good will build up at each and every day it's like laying these building blocks it's better to build up small building blocks next to each other than one big block here and there because building up small building blocks by each next to each other will result into a stronger foundation base and this is that this is what most people will uh, will fail to understand just because you hit the gym once or twice a week when you have goals to become a bodybuilder or whatever or fit whatever or lose 20 kilos that's just being occasionally great rather than if you go 30 minutes per day that will do far more benefit far more good than just hitting it for two hours per once per week and uh, as we spoke before we you will lose friends because on your journey to success as you level up you will become I wouldn't say less tolerate but you will have friends that will struggle to maintain the same pace as you and you will have friends and people in your life that will just basically do not keep up on the same level and sometimes losing those friends or persons in your life can make way for new things in life can way make way for new chapters new people to come into your life and uh, as difficult as this might be especially when you are for example when you have unsupportive family members and you you're trying to level up but they're forcing you to or holding you down it's at this stage where you must decide what you really want to do as in it's at this stage where you have to think about whose life you're living and if these people deserve to be in your life at this stage in time i have the saying like when people for example people that i lost through life as you mature and get uh you process pro- pro- progress that's the word progress through life when i look back on the memories it's very seldom that i look back with anger or like how do you call that word it's very rare that i hold grudges for people because at the time we were friends at the time we did that memory i was happy it's at that time that i can say i look back at that time in a happy way in a good way so it doesn't mean because you lose people you lose friends as you level up means that you have to grow resentful towards those friends because you're not talking anymore i think it takes quite a mature person to not be friends with someone look back onto a memory and say at that moment in time i was happy and we were very good friends and uh, not look back with resent or with anger towards that so it's part of the journey that you will lose some close people from your life and that should not scare you 
because that is only making way for new people to enter and push you forward. There's another saying that actually I was sent from a very good friend of mine. A man with no purpose seeks pleasure and distraction. (laughs) And uh, when we were discussing what this means, it's actually a very true meaning that nowadays also people are losing their sense of direction. You see a lot of people in today's society floating around, waiting for good shit to happen to them, waiting for things to to happen, for paths to align, but they are not doing any effort for that. And they're just doing, they're just complaining. And before, a man had to have a purpose because if they had no purpose in prehistoric times if you had a man with no purpose who was going to provide for the family or for his hunger so a man were always born to hunt and provide and provide for the family or the himself so we were always given purpose in life. But it's becoming very, very frequent nowadays for someone to have no purpose and just lay around. And I'm only speaking, at least for the man here, that you should have a purpose, regardless of what that purpose is. You should always have something inside of you that is driving you forward. Because otherwise, if you don't have anything that you are aspiring for, that you're pushing for, you will just wander off and be unproductive, procrastinate, and be lost in distraction. So I think that it's actually a powerful saying that goes one must find his purpose to achieve greatness so it's actually a very good saying that it's sometimes very difficult for someone to find purpose and truthfully speaking everyone is on their own journey So maybe I found my purpose at a younger age and maybe someone who is the same age as I am might find his purpose in five years time. And you know that that is totally fine as long as you are trying to be with yourself and understand your what your inner voice is telling you. So Yeah, I mean, I don't think I have much more to add to that point, to be honest. And uh, the one last saying that I found this week, which I also, it's, it goes hand in hand with the other one. With every setback, I grow stronger. With every failure, I grow wiser. With every sacrifice, I become closer. And before we continue this, as we spoke in the previous video, you have to welcome setbacks and problems that come through your life with gratitude. Because these will make you a better human being and will give you a lesson every failure will make you wiser and this is actually one of the reasons why when I talk about with friends family and people in my life and they ask me aren't you scared of failing 
and the truth is yes i am it's straight up uh to the point i am scared of failing but that doesn't stop me that will not stop me from trying because when you start a new opportunity when you start a new business if you fail you learn so then moving on to the next opportunity you will avoid that lesson that you would have learned through the previous failure whereas if you have not tried at all you would never have went through that lesson and what if it succeeds so yeah i mean failure is part of life it's something that we should welcome with open arms and it's something that we should accept as part of the journey we will fail many many times it's just that failing is what will make us great in the future so and for for success we must sacrifice as we talked about in the previous videos and uh, points you will have to turn down offers to go out drinking at the end of the weekend you will have to go work hard after your full-time job on your side business you will have to sacrifice nights out if you have an early morning run the next day if, sacrifice is important and you must understand that without sacrifice success becomes very difficult to obtain because anything well first of all if it, if it was easy everyone would do it so if it's not easy most likely it will need some some kind of sacrifice to for it to be obtained and the last few points a confident person doesn't feel the need to prove their confidence a wealthy person does not feel the need to convince anyone of their wealth neither should you try to prove yourself to anyone let your actions do that and this one i like mainly because sometimes we spend so much energy trying to prove ourselves to anyone to someone to x y z but the truth is that if that person needs energy to be convinced then it shouldn't be give, he or she should not be given the attention because if they really want to be part of your life your journey he will be convinced by your actions your actions should do the talking and uh it's actually a very important thing nowadays where people are just trying to basically do things for other people we buy things we don't need to impress other people we buy a necessary shit just to say we have that and in a world where everyone just tries to show off it is important to ground yourself and understand what this really means so on i mean basically uh yeah i mean to be honest this is the end of what i wrote from this week and uh i really recommend you go back grab a notepad and write down a few thoughts that are triggered from watching this maybe you are inspired to do something or maybe you try to be better in a, any sort of way we are soon ending this month and starting a new year 
and I take this opportunity to invite you to basically if you've been that type of person that wastes their their year or is wasting the time to start the journey of improving on working on yourself on trying to become 1% better every day and uh, again going back to my to the phrase that we spoke about in my in now just now it's better to be okay, okay, oh it's better to be consistently good than occasionally great i got it so it's better to be consistently good than occasionally great so it's better to be 1% better each and every day than 5% better every week or once a week and uh, going into a new year i want you to try and maybe do the same as i am doing grabbing a notepad writing down a few thoughts and opening up a list of that thought and uh, also you will start to understand yourself a bit better and you will start to develop a relationship on how your mind and soul works or are communicating you start to understand where your thoughts are coming from and how they are coming or how you think the way you think because when you sit down with a pen and a piece of paper and a five a five word sentence that has a deeper meaning to it you will start to understand the first thoughts that start coming to mind and uh, it's these thoughts that fuel us every day so it's the same example that if someone is always negative when something happens it can be positive but he will just see the negative side of it if this glass is filled half filled a negative person will say it's half empty when a neg- a positive person will say it's half full and uh, that is why we must train ourselves to look into the good of the world and uh, this is something that i also am working on as it's something that you can uh, never be good enough in as in everyone can be very negative everyone will go through phases where they are just very negative and that's fine as long as you are aware of that phase and as long as you are working on improving that phase that is totally fine it's okay to go through a certain phases in life where you are more negative than positive as long as you acknowledge that so yeah i mean i hope that this video serves a purpose and uh, maybe of an insight to one's thoughts and uh, if you come up with a comment uh, if you come up with a quote that you want me to open up on or speak about feel free to leave it down in the comments connect with me through social media or send it to me as a dm i look forward to basically doing more of these and work on keep working on myself and developing my skills further as i am still very new to this journey of self development but i am looking forward to inspiring more of you to do something that does inspire other people So for now thank you guys for watching I hope I see you in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe this video peace